everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching if you're new welcome and thank you for taking the time to check out my channel today I'm going to be doing a jean video so I'm walking you through all of my favorite jeans from a gold e I have six pairs five different styles two of them are the same style but different colors so I'm going to walk you through like the details that I look for when I buy jeans online so the first one I'm going to talk about are these ones these are the a gold e 90s jeans so I think these probably are one of the pair of jeans that made Eagle E like gain their popularity quite a lot in the last year, year and a half. So these ones, I wouldn't necessarily say like wide leg because I have wide leg jeans and these ones are a little bit more narrow than that. So they're like that 90s style, but more trouser length because you have 90s style mom jeans and all that jazz. I think these are the most flattering, like wide-ish, loose-ish jeans that I've ever tried on. They have a high rise of 12 and a half inch. So that is above my belly button. And then the inseam of these ones are 29 inches. So I haven't touched the hem because they do have like a really nice detailing on the hem here. And like they hit right above my heel. So they look great with slides like this. I'm 5'5", so that can maybe give you a reference. Usually I'm a 29, 30 inch inseam. So true to size for me, the knee holes are just where they need to be. These ones have definitely like opened a little bit over the course of me wearing them. I think I've worn them for over a year now and I'm wearing true to size in this one. They will eventually stretch a little bit because they are 100% cotton. So that's another reason why the distressing in these are so good. So when I come up closer, you can really see the detailing of the pants. They have distressing all around, but it's not like acid wash distressing. It's very nicely done. You can see the knee holes here. Reason why I love 100% cotton when it comes to distressed jeans is because the distressing you can really see like doesn't have those little elastic strangly pieces these are like hardcore cotton strands that have been torn and worn they just look a little bit more natural and this is the hem on the bottom that I was talking about that's why I don't want to touch the hem and thankfully they fit me there is something you can do when you shorten pants that have this you can move it up it's just something you have to talk about with your tailor it's possible so these jeans come in a lot of different colors and style numbers so this is the fallout. I love it. There's another one that's also like less distressed than these that are a little bit more bluey, I'd say. These kind of have like a green in the blue, which is also really nice, but I personally like this shade best. And then I have them in the white that I'm gonna try on for you now. So these ones are the 90s jeans in white out. So very similar distressing. The distressings are on slightly different spots than the fallout style. You get the gist, it's a very similar vibe. I love white denim, so that's why I wanted them in all white as well, just because I fell in love with the shape so much. Again, they are high rise, as you can see. Everything is the same. I'm wearing 25 in these as well, and they are true to size. So this is what they look like up close. I mean, they're clearly all white, so there's not too much to show you up close. There's a little bit of distressing here along the pockets. Pockets are quite deep, definitely able to fit like a wallet, maybe your phone, depending on how big they are. Deep pockets in the back. A gold E is also great because they don't have any like branding on the butt pockets really anywhere, which is why I also really like them. All right, so next up are the A gold E crisscross jeans. These ones are in the style or color style Savage. And I feel like I should be like doing the savage dance from TikTok, but I decided to go down in size in these. This is a 10 and three quarter rise jean. So these ones are very similar to the 90s jean style in the fact that they're like a little bit of like a mid to high rise and they kind of are like a wide leg jean. The measurements are a little bit different though. These ones are a 30 inch inseam. So you can see that they basically reach the ground for me versus those ones were 29. So it's an inch difference in the inseam. So it might be better for those of you who are a little bit taller because these ones are probably on the shorter end for you if you are taller than 5'5". Five five. And then the other thing is they are a 17 inch leg opening. 90s jeans were a 16 inch opening, so a little bit more tapered as you saw when I was wearing them. So this one mixed with being a little bit longer, definitely look a little bit more trousery in terms of style. So online on the A Goldie site at least, it says that the rise of these are 10 and three quarters. I would agree maybe like to this button is 10 and three quarters because that's like a mid rise to me, but 
up to here where like the pant actually goes and all the way around to the back it's very very similar to the 90s jeans so i would say they're 12 and a half inch like high rise up to here because my belly button's here and it literally hits the same spot as the 90s jeans just to let you know like they are a little bit more high rise in the back but you can see the cool detailing here like it's a button fly one two three four it's actually four buttons not five as the other ones are and it's a little bit of like a washed black so it's like a vintagey black one again the pockets are unbranded it's great i think that able does a really great job with like these wider like loosest jeans but also making like the butt look flattering so yeah these jeans are probably one of my coolest pair in the bunch and again they are 100 percent cotton they will stretch out like the other ones and then shrink back when you wash them so i would say true to size or down for these ones next up are these jeans these ones are the riley's like i couldn't figure out what style they were for a while because it didn't say the name on it like the other ones did but i searched the style number which i don't know why i didn't do before into the a gold e site and verified that they are the riley and in the shade air blue so i got these ones in a 26 because usually when i haven't tried on like a jean brand before i usually size up just to be safe and sorry like and these ones were on sale so I couldn't return them and I'm like I'd rather wear them with a belt than not be able to wear them so these ones I got in 26 which is why I think I started confusing it with the Jamie's because they almost sit like that you'll know when I try the Jamie's on but they are the Riley's in the 26 so the Riley is a high-rise jean it's about like an 11 and a half high-rise so a little bit lower than the 90s jean so they do also have a shorter inseam it's a 26 inch inseam and so you can tell that because they are bigger they don't sit as high on me but usually a 26 inseam is like up here for me so if you were to order true to size it will be quite cropped i would say 26 is pretty cropped usually on me and then their leg opening is 14 inches so the most tapered ones we've tried so far. And in terms of composition, it is 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So yes, they are stretchy, but not too stretchy. It's like very, very minute amount of elastane. Usually 1% is like the amount of elastane that I'm comfortable with. If you go too high in elastane, it starts looking a little bit spandexy. So these are the jeans up close. They do have a button fly as do all the jeans behind me minus the skinnies. And they are super comfortable. You can see that the blue has like faded a little bit. Like it just shows how beautifully the patina, I guess you can call it. I don't know. Patina is for leather. I don't know if it works for jeans, but you get the point. Again, the butt pockets are plain. 11 and a half high rise is like pretty similar to 12 and a half when you size up. They sit around the same spot. Really like these jeans. They're classic. I love a good medium deep blue jean that doesn't have any rips because you can dress them up and down. All right, so next up are the Jamie's in Passenger. So I just wanted to like specify that they're Passenger because they have a couple shades and styles that look very similar to this. The thing that gives these ones away are that they're a little bit more of like a blue or a medium blue to light blue shade and like a true blue versus this one's a little bit gray or greeny undertones. And they only have a little bit distressing here and on the bottom. They have a couple other ones that are a little bit more distressed. So these ones I got in a size 25, like true to size, and they fit perfectly. I mean, if you want them to be a little bit more like how the Riley's fit, these ones would have a little bit more of like a mom feel, I would say, because they do taper in a little bit more. The opening, the leg opening is 12 inches and a quarter versus it was 14 for that for the Riley because Riley were straight leg. These ones are a little bit longer as well. So these ones are a 27 inch inseam. Riley was 26. And also because I got them in a size 26, they're a little bit longer. So these ones I would say hit just where a style jean like this should hit. And then the rise here is 11 inches. So like right where my belly button is. I would say these jeans remind me the most of my Levi's 501 skinnies. Also 100% cotton, but in terms the shade and fit up here is a very similar fit as the 501 Levi's I would say and then just the leg is a little bit more tapered all right so up close you can see there's a little bit of like fading going on here it is a pretty solid mid to light blue but you can tell with like the slight detailing of the fade that it will get a little bit lighter throughout wearing it which is great it gives you that like vintagey feel and because it's 100% cotton it's going to fade really nicely you're gonna see more of that texture come through it does have a button fly as do most of them last one won't because it's a true skinny jean 
doesn't have branded pockets again, which is another great A Goldie detailing. You really don't see branding anywhere. Overall, these are a great jean to have. It's a very classic shape, classic color. So if you are looking for kind of a step to the more casual than the Riley's that I just tried on, these ones would be a great option. Last but not least, my one pair of skinnies from A Gold E. I don't have a lot of skinnies left in my closet just because it's not really the style of jean I gravitate towards too much anymore. If I do wear skinnies, they're usually black or if or they're like dark blue. I find it really hard to wear light blue skinnies. Anyways, these ones are the Sophie Mid-Rise Crop. They are, I would say a summer jean for me or a great boot jean because these ones are a 26 inch inseam. So if you want to know what a 26 inch inseam looks like for me truly, that's what it looks like. These are a size 25 for me. The Riley's were 26. That's why they sat longer and plus these are skinny. So they're going to rise up if you have any type of curve. The rise for these ones are nine and three quarters. So I would say they're on the lower end of like a mid-rise jean and they are zipper fly. I'll show you all the details up close. The other thing is the leg opening is an 11 inch. So when it comes to skinnies, I stick with anything 11 inch or lower because that will give you a true skinny jean. Anything higher, you'll get something closer to the Jamie's because that was a 12 inch. So just to keep that in mind, if you're looking at uh, measurements of certain jeans online and you want a true skinny jean try 11 maybe 11 and a half but like just make sure that it's like they're actually like tight skinnies and not anything close to a straight jean because they will come out a little bit at the bottom and then you won't have this look anymore so these ones are the sophie mid-rise crop in temple so temple's like a washed black with a lot of distressing throughout it this distressing on the leg here it kind of the distressing especially here like gets more aggressive with age. And that's why mine are a little bit ripped because I've had mine for a couple of years. So there is a little bit of distressing in the back pocket. And this one is a zipper fly. And I think that the crop version is a great style for a lot of people because I would say I'm like an average height and they fit great with like slides and stuff, then my boots usually hit around here. So it would be great to have them like that. And that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed uh, seeing me try on all my favorite A Gold E jeans. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope that you are able to find some jeans online and that the tips that I gave you were helpful. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you very soon.